Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on, as you can see, for a video from uh, this high 8 camcorder, although I'm not actually recording to tape. Uh, the reason being that I have to plug it into the computer anyways, because there's no viewfinder and there's no view screen, so otherwise I'd be operating it blind, and that is no fun. So I figure, well, if I've got to plug it into the computer anyway, I might as well just record it into the computer directly. You can see we've got no shortage of cheap clocks here. Another large number of them. This one here was the cheapest of the bunch. You can see real no frills. I gave 49 cents for this one. As you can expect, let me make sure I turn the right knob here. The alarm is just, you know, your typical cheap. Nothing real special about it, although I liked, I liked the simplicity of this thing. It's kind of dusty. I think I gave it a new battery recently as well. I know I gave the one beside it a new battery, and that would be this one. These are ubiquitous in thrift stores. You see these everywhere, and usually they've got something printed down here through some company or an achievement or another. This one doesn't have any of those things. I thought it stopped counting for a second, maybe it did. It doesn't have an alarm. You can see quartz movement, no jewels. Looks like Los Angeles, made in China, of course. A ubiquitous cheap clock. You see these everywhere in every thrift store. Then the one beside it, this is a really cool one. This one's not cheap at all. You know, made out of hefty metal. Probably paid a little bit too much for it, but considering that these are actually valuable, well, maybe not. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on the camera. You can see W Germany for West Germany. This isn't on the front, too. I'm positive the camera won't be able to focus on that. I can't see it on my screen, but maybe it's focusing on this is a Burke's quartz clock. Again, no alarm. It just simply opens up like this to reveal the magic within. Real nice unit. Glad I have it. Then we've got uh, the Chinese imitation of the same thing. This one does have a seconds hand, but no alarm still. And it doesn't open up all the way. It's pretty well, pretty well the same design. Just obviously vastly cheapened out. I think the whole thing is made out of plastic, except maybe these little nubs at the top here. Here's another one. I think this one got its own video. This one's really cool. That it is a Homer Simpson clock, but of course it doesn't really make any anything interesting. It's made entirely out of ceramic. The alarm is, of course, your typical cheap. Alarm sound. Let's try and get this to turn. Here we go. It has a little bit of a bassy undertone to it, but not much. And then, I bought this at a dollar store a long time ago. It's probably got its own video at some point, but it's here. Get another cheap clock. Sounds the same as all the others. These all pretty much sound exactly the same. But you see all these cheap clocks. But I got another one to show you. And this one is the ultimate in cheap and cheesy. Check this thing out. <laughs> this is, I don't know who made it or who would have potentially made it. Cheap and cheery Chinese little clock thing. I probably shouldn't have picked it up. $3.99, but sometimes you really just can't resist. And that was another one of those cases. Here's our focus. That's what it looks like. The whole thing is pretty much just cheap and cheery. There's not really much to it. You can see on the front. There's not really much I can think of to, de to say or really demonstrate with such a thing other than it was just really cool. Cool looking. These parts move. Oops, probably should show that on the camera. 
these move, so I guess it's intended for kids to, you know, like move it around and such, which is pretty interesting and neat. There, of course, is the price sticker on the bottom. Here's the battery compartment. It takes three AA batteries, and you'll, you'll see why in a second. There's some random tape on it. Then we've got uh, this up here. Which looks like it's kind of faded, but it tells you how to put the batteries in and what they're for, as well as how to set it and all of that. So none of that is really all that interesting. I mean, you can set it by, what did that say, pulling it out? Yeah, you pull the button to set the time, but you push it to set the alarm. Which you, I hope you can see there, I'm setting the alarm. The mechanism is just really cheap and kind of cheap and nasty. Pulling off the tape on the bottom reveals that, uh, well, there's something a little interesting there. Looks like a speaker. So remember all these clock radios, or clock radios, remember all these clocks made that uh, generic sound. And honestly probably wouldn't even wake a sleeping flea. This is the loudest of the bunch. Well, this one's different. In order to activate the alarm, you push down or up, such as the case may be on the smokestack here. This is intended to be a, a mock steam train or a coal train, such as the case may be. None of these do anything. These are just for show. We're going to go ahead and we're going to let the alarm sound. That's right. Sounds like a steam train. <laughs> yeah. Ultimate and cheap and cheesy. I suppose that this is actually probably what's going to be doing the waking up. A little light on the front. Which is fairly bright. When you push on it, it says off. <laughs> oh man, just the ultimate and cheap, cheerful, and cheesy. I wonder what kind of light that is. Maybe that's an incandescent bulb? It looks awfully small to be an incandescent bulb, though. That get really annoying after a while, so... We'll go ahead and turn that off, and I think that's going to conclude the video of this very cheap and very cheesy train clock. So, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. Hope to see you next time. Till then. I can't believe I bought this thing, and I can't believe I even made a video about it.